Welcome back. You're watching the breaking news show on CNN News 18. And at the top of this segment, we continue to keep our focus on the Kachatiwa Row and the controversy that's broken out over it. But right now, we have a reply that's come in uh, in this particular matter, wherein the people of Tamil Nadu are asking three questions to those who staged a sudden fisherman's love drama for elections after being in Kumbhakarna slumber for 10 years. This is the reply that's come in from MK Stalin. And this is the breaking news that we bring you. Three questions that's been asked. If Tamil Nadu gives one rupee as tax, why does the union government return only 29 paise? Second, why Tamil Nadu has not been given one rupee flood relief despite facing two natural calamities in succession? Number three, 10 years of BJP, is there any special scheme brought to Tamil Nadu under this regime. Prime Minister, answer all this without indulging in diver diversions. This is the particular uh, demand that's come in from the DMK side. Now, right now, we have Purnima Murli joining us back on the broadcast to bring us more context. Purnima, what we see here is yet another time the DMK hitting this at the centre, hitting out at the centre with regards to uh, the stepmotherly treatment that they had said earlier as well. But this is the reply they've brought in to an issue that's been on for 50 years now, the Kachativu Row. How are we looking at this and how do we expect the BJP shall be replying to this particular issue, uh, to this particular reply from this, um, MK Stalin now? Well, politics over Kachati was only escalating in the run-up to the 2024 Lok Sabha polls. Uh, with uh, uh, the BJP now uh, uh, showing documents, uh, reportedly saying that it was Karunanadi who was also uh, was also uh, part of all these in 1974 when the agreement was signed, uh, when the Congress and the DMK were in power then. Uh, the DMK and uh, the DMK president as well as Chief Minister of uh, Tamil Nadu, MK Stalin, now uh, responds to the entire uh, politics over Kachativa and says that uh, the BJP has suddenly come up with uh, uh, this issue when there are so many unanswered questions from their end and also indirectly says that uh, the BJP is trying to use Kachativa as a uh, diversionary tactic uh, when there are so many unanswered questions from the central government uh, on its stepmotherly treatment to Tamil Nadu is the, is the the counter that the TMK has come up with after uh, we heard the uh, we heard uh, external affairs minister's press conference. Now DMK calls it a diversionary tactic and says that the Tam that Tamil Nadu has been ignored by the centre. Let the prime minister first answer these and then uh, 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 and then has three questions to uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi. So this is DMK's counter. We'll have to wait and see now how uh, the BJP would respond to this. But clearly, Kachatiwa is going to be the narrative in, uh, for Tamil Nadu elections. Uh, We'll, we'll have to see how this now plays out in the coming hours and coming days. Right, Purnima. Purnima, thank you for bringing us all those details with regards to all that's taken place so far in the story and the particular reaction that's coming from the DMK now.